Good day and welcome to another episode of the After Show Podcast. It feels really awkward having to do this without feeling like anyone is listening to me, but I'm in high spirits, okay? It's Friday, we're about to turn up, I'm done with my show, and it seems like I've got my whole life ahead of me, but I do not, because there are a thousand and one things that I've got to do before today gets wrapped up. And I guess you also have a million and one things that you also have to do, so let's just get this party started already. My name is Nina, thank you so much for joining me and the host of What's Up Enugu Sound City Radio 91.1 live in the Coast City. We'll be doing a highlight of the key things that happened on the show for this week, except for Monday because we had the After Show podcast for Monday where I spoke to my girl Fefe. So if you want to listen to the previous edition, all you just need to do is go back to the Sound City app or soundcity.tv and check out What's Up Enugu for Monday. Okay, thank you so much. As you do that, no, don't do that right now. We're about to get into the highlights for this week's starting from Tuesday. Let's check out what exactly went down on Tuesday. Oh my God, listening to this song again is giving me all the feels right now. Casper New Vest featuring DJ Drama and Anati on Soundsty Radio 646. So yesterday morning, we all woke up to allegations from a U.S.-based woman accusing Ron Towner and his brother of fraud. Hi, my name is Sean Renee Tiger, and I am trying to ask for the Nigerian government to give me a little bit of help to get some money back that was defrauded from me by a citizen of Nigeria. His name is Jack Agu, who had said that he could get the money to my fiancé for a purchase in Kenya. That didn't happen. I have made police reports. He has been ditching the arrests here we have a civil case going he's not being served because he's running well run town's management sound god music group has issued an official statement and they're saying it's all lies and an attempt to blackmail and tarnish their image they said according to the dss and efcc investigations reveal that it's just a group of imposters who may have duped this woman using run town's name well we'll see if this case goes any further the last thing we need right now is another dummy crane ish kind of situation if you know what i mean stick around i'll let you know the would you rather question at seven follow us on social media oh yeah i follow you sound city anugu it's sad to see ron town going through this right now with all he's going through with the court cases having to put out music and now this the woman in question is actually insisting that they were the ones who duped her of 45 million naira and not some imposters. She shared a video in which Rontown's elder brother was seen holding a check signed by her as payment for a show that never happened. Hmm. Fingers crossed. This is soon becoming a prayer point. I'm being serious right now. What's up, Enugu? Let's play Would You Rather now. Final results from last Thursday's poll. 66% of you would rather use a free unlimited ticket to eat your favorite food instead of watch your favorite movies. I'm legit heartbroken right now and I'm shook at the same time. But let's get into today's. Would you rather lose all your social media accounts or lose all your phone contacts? Get involved at Sound City Enugu on Twitter, Facebook, as well as Insta Story. There is just this particular vibe to this song, Sensima by Skivy, featuring Ricardo Banks, 27 minutes down, 7. What's up, Enugu? You're with Nina on Sound City Radio. I'm still asking, would you rather lose all your social media accounts or lose all your phone contacts? Bus Akong and Michael Henry would rather lose their phone contacts. Odoch Kumega says he would also rather lose his phone contacts because he can easily get them back. Love you too, Dochiku. Chukori P. Wilson says, I would rather lose all my social media accounts because my phone contacts can give me more business. Amazing. At Ima Eshea on Twitter says, my contact list is precious to me. There's a set of people that I'm going to lose. It's better for me to lose all my social media accounts. I can create another one. Amazing. So far, 39% of you would rather lose your phone contacts. Keep voting at Sound City Enugu on socials. Here's a way back tune from Mr. W, Lagos Party, the remix. For the good old days. <laughs> 
I just started really enjoying the song after the video dropped. Fantasy by Mayor Kun, 7.50 in the morning. How's it going for you? I'm still asking, would you rather lose all your social media accounts or lose all your phone contacts? Wrap it up now. As Kami underscore Junior says, I'd rather lose my phone contacts than lose my social media accounts because it's where I can find all my old friends. Kelechi says, hard decision, but I'd rather lose my social media accounts. Roland says, I'd rather lose all my social media accounts because it can still be retrieved but phone contacts will not be that easy. Wrapping up now, the poll says 60% of you would rather lose all your social media accounts. Does that mean a lot of you care about your phone numbers than being on socials? For me, it's nothing really about being on social media, but I think I'd rather lose my phone contacts. I mean, I've lost it a lot of times and I'm still fine. Plus, I can find everyone I care about on social media and get their numbers back, even my mom. <laughs> so I wouldn't even trip if I were to lose my phone numbers right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting involved. I've got French Montana and Drake, no stylist. <laughs> Oh yes, Nina is here with your biggest tracks on a Tuesday. Sounds to the radio 91.1. What's up, Enugu? If you've eaten something really tasty recently, I'd like to know. So hit me up at Sound City Enugu and let me know all about it. We'll do Top Taste Tuesday next. Here's Mr. Olu Maintain. Excusez mon français. What's up, Enugu? <laughs> Tuesday morning in the cold city. What's up, Enugu? It's time for Top Taste Tuesday. So, bread is one of my favorite things in the world. Even though the past few days I've been bored with eating bread and eggs. So, I decided to try out something new. I added avocados to it. Very simple. Just scrape out the avocado, mash it to be very buttery, put some of them on the bread, fry your eggs, place it on top of the avocado and bread, cover it with another slice of bread, and toast everything together. It may seem really yucky, but it actually tastes nice. Yes. If you ever get to try it out, don't forget to let me know. Um, that Top Taste Tuesday was really eerie. If you have a sensitive stomach, I have some advice for you. You should try this only close to your restroom. But if you have a very strong stomach, just like me, you're good to go, okay? What's up, Enugu? With Nina. Let's get into Wednesday. We're kicking off with the high five. Sounds to the radio 91.1. What's up, Enugu? Today is Stress Awareness Day. And in commemoration of that, here are high five ways to deal with stress as a young person. Number one. Don't suffer in silence. Feeling alone makes stress harder to deal with. Just try and talk to someone that can be helpful and not someone that will make you feel even worse. Number two. Quit putting too much pressure on yourself. You buy that car, you make that money, but all in due time. Number three. Think Think of possible solutions to things that you can handle and quit stressing about things that you have no control over. Number four. Get rid of people who complicate your life the more, even on social media. Number five. Always take a time out. No matter how stressful life gets, do one thing that you love that relaxes you every single day. Those are high five ways to distress as a young person on the grind. If you're already doing these, high five to you. This was sort of personal for me because I've seen just how much pressure can drive someone insane. I've been there. I've done that. So I'm speaking from experience. It's even worse now because Christmas is close by and lots of people are about to lose their minds with questions like, what have I achieved? What do I go home with? What do I have to show for it? Can you just take a breather? Calm your nerves down. You've got life. Okay. If you don't have anything else working for you, life is is on your side you can breathe so tell me again what is more important than that and then maybe we'll have a conversation sound city sounds to the radio 91.1 you're hanging with nina this wednesday time for some fun facts did you know that in taiwan there's a restaurant that serves food on miniature toilets instead of plates eating your food from tiny toilets for real in 2006 a woman lit matches in a flight so that the smell of the matches could cover the smell of a fart that forced an emergency landing it must have been embarrassing also cockroaches were in existence 120 million years before dinosaurs roamed the earth 
those roaches are resilient as hell. And lastly, the world's largest family stays in India. The husband's name is Zaiwana Chana. He has 39 wives, 94 children, 14 daughters-in-law, and 33 grandchildren and still counting. They live in a 100-room, four-story house in India. More of your favorites here. I am blown away. What's up, Enugu? With Nina. Okay, so my favorite fun fact is the woman who lit matches to cover the smell of her farts. The gas she emitted must have been a disastrous one for you to think of hiding it with the smell of matches. But to be honest, that idea wasn't smart at all. She should have just been like a typical Nigerian, just fart and ask who farted. Like, who mess? Well, we all know that you did. After some minutes, everyone will be all right, last, last. Except somebody dies as a result of the smell of your farts, then that would be criminal. Eight twenty-seven in the morning. How's it going this Wednesday? It's time for us to celebrate our favorite women. Our WCW today is Tiwa Savage. Part of my voice, but on Sunday night she was crowned Best African Act at the 2018 MTV Europe Music Awards after beating the likes of Davido, Destruction Boys, Fali, Pupa, Nyashinsky, and Shekinah. Back to back, she has been queening, dropping hits, breaking records for herself, especially when she sold out her first UK headline concert at the O2 Arena in London a few months ago. Why is she a woman crush again? Because she's simply phenomenal. Yes, throughout this week, I know I've been gushing about Tiwa, but let me do it again for the last time this week. Hopefully. <laughs> she's on the December issue of the British Vogue. Dear haters, what did you say again? Everybody loves a winner, man. Get out of here. On Wednesdays, I love to share some true but unbelievable stories and I love to call it You Can't Make This Ish up. Okay, you can't make this stuff up. That's why I call it actually. Chinkoya Kun pulling through with Leo Cash and Zlatan, Evil God on Sound City Radio. What's up, Enigo? Usually on Wednesdays, I love to share some crazy stories with you. You can't make this stuff up. So, the Japanese government has begun a search and rescue mission for, wait for it, one of its islands. Yes, you heard right. An entire Japanese island has gone missing. Yes, it has disappeared. Like Houdini, poof, disappeared. The island in question is uninhabited, so no one actually actually noticed it had disappeared until an author went there to write a book only to notice the island was no longer where it used to be that was when he reached out to the nearest village to ask where it might be if he were to be nigerian i guess he would start shouting who stole the island who stole the island <laughs> all this could be because of climate change but just imagine waking up one day and you don't find river niger where it is how freaking believable you can't make this stuff up what's up enugu with nina on Thursday morning, I asked another would you rather question. <laughs> Sounds to the radio 91.1. What's up, Enugu? Nina is here with you this Thursday morning, the 8th day in November. And I'm asking, would you rather be able to know when people lie to you or be able to get away with any lie that you tell people? Okay, since Kelvin says, I would rather get away with lies. I'm already a master at detecting lies. I've bagged so many awards. <laughs> I guess you should be turned into a lie detecting machine then. A.B. Diaz says, I would rather detect when people lie to me. Right now, 30% of you would rather get away with any lie you tell people. Keep voting at Sound City Enugu on Twitter, Facebook, as well as our Insta story. And let me know if you would rather be able to detect when people lie to you or be able to get away with any lie you tell people. Just kill. <laughs> Chinkoeko, Leo Kesh and Zlatan, Evil God on a Thursday morning. Would you rather be able to know when people lie to you or be able to get away with any lie you tell? Wrapping up, Temple Joseph says, I'd rather detect when people lie to me because I trust myself. I know how to cook up my own lies and get away with it. I think you should have your own TV show. It should be titled How to Get Away with Lies. <laughs> on a total, 69% of you on Twitter would rather detect when people lie to you. Amazing. Thank you so much for getting involved. For me, I think I'd love to know when people lie to me. So I can tell the fake lovers and of course the fake friends is it a coincidence that ray plays next with friends oh yeah 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 this was a no-brainer for me i would rather want to know when people are lying to me because right now i can lie my way out of almost anything and like i said to that guy we should probably team up to make a series called how to get away with lies the title is dope right i know i'm awesome <laughs> Sound City.
Let's get on to the next thing, which is hashtag foodie question. We had a bank giving us blessings on me this Thursday morning, 90 minutes down eight. Nina still holding it steady with you this Thursday. Sounds to Radio 91.1. It's time for us to discover who our foodies are, or rather, the people who love food so much that it irritates them when people do certain things around them. Okay, so the hashtag foodie question for today is I want you to mention one bad eating habit people have that irritates the hell out of you, especially things like when they put their hands in your food that they didn't even wash, when they talk with food in their mouth, when they spill food all over the table. There are just so many of them. Find us on socials at Sound City Enugu. Let's go to SA. Man like Young Six giving us in advance. What's up, Enugu? You're with Nina on the 8th day of November. For hashtag foodie, I'm asking you to mention one bad eating habit people have that irritates you the most. OG Peter says, some people talk while eating as if they're animals. Bruh, even animals don't talk while eating. So what are they? What do we call people that talk while they're eating? (laughs) St. Kelvin says, some talk while eating to the point that they choke bad eating habit true that richie t says some people make noises while chewing their food i hate that habit eh? chewing food like a bull cow ah bro you just spoke my mind keep the responses coming at sound city enugu that is the handle on twitter as well as facebook nina is still with you let's make a quick trip right now to sa dj shimza is here with african roots looking for love turn up your radio just a flow that got the block hot cause super hot Wrapping up hashtag foodie, it's Lagos Boy says, putting your hand in the nose while eating because that person will surely put that same hand in the food. It's so irritating. Wow. Picking your nose while eating. Ew. I think I have a lot of them. I have a whole list of things I don't like people doing when they're eating, like very bad eating habits. Chewing with your mouth open. I don't like when people chew noisily, like... Like, why do you have to do that? Clinging your teeth to the cutlery. Oh my God, that, that one drives me crazy. Okay, hold up. Let's back up a little. Do people really pick their nostrils while eating? Like, for real? You've got to be messing with me. Because of time, I really couldn't get into details about people's bad habits and terrible table manners and etiquettes that irritate me the most. Yes, I did mention, you know, chewing noisily, clinging your teeth on the cutlery, putting your filthy fingers into someone else's food and so many other things I mentioned. Yes, other bad table manners I hate so much are littering the table with your food. Like, do you have a leaky mouth? Is your mouth leaking? or something (laughs) oh oh and yes people who stuff meat and food in their mouth only for them to start choking and then they bring it out like eh and wait for it they start eating it again oh lord and yes those people that speak with food in their mouth and then they spit particles on your face when they are talking well like you're going to wash your mouth and lick off those particles from my face Never mind, I take that back. Your mouth may be stuffed with bacteria, so better keep everything inside of your mouth, okay? Just just keep it inside of your mouth. If what you want to say is so important, just eat everything and then you can say to me, don't be spitting your crap all of... Keep your crap to yourself, please. And then, people who, after eating, instead of them to use a toothpick or floss or drink water to take everything that is inside of your mouth downwards, they now decide to put their fingers in your mouth to distribute what's got stuck there like i can't even explain it to you i know you know people who do these things but i don't know the best way to explain it like when people put their fingers inside of your mouth to bring out food particles that got stuck somewhere in the mouth it's really disgusting people like that should just be thrown inside the zoo i think the animals would even reject them like no we don't we don't act this way in animal kingdom nah please get out of here we also don't act that way in human kingdom okay (laughs) and lastly yes people who reach at the table oh my gosh yes i know you want to get something and it's just a few inches away but don't you dare put your armpit across my food jesus where are your manners did it end with the israelites at the desert for real To be honest, the only reason I am excited to do this podcast today is so I can rant about these things. I've been bottling it up for so long and I feel I may just explode on someone someday. Oh shit, my boss is going to listen. So I guess I should be saying, I am so excited to do this podcast today because I am passionate about producing podcasts. What's up, Enugu? With Nina. 
It's Friday and we kicked off like this. 8.29 on a Friday morning. Sounds of the radio 91.1. What's up, Enugu? So I woke up to this amazing, fantastic surprise this morning. Gabriel Union is a mom. She and her husband, Dwayne Wade, welcomed their first child together via a surrogate. And guess what? It's a baby girl. Gosh, I'm the happiest person right now on earth because I know how much she has always wanted a baby. But after three years of failure, IVF cycles, nine miscarriages. She is now a mom. Gosh, I'm so hyped right now, like it's my own baby. I can't even control this happiness. Back to the music. Here's Harry Songs with Report Card. Rock, pop, pop. Report Card. The way I've been raving about Gabriel Union's baby, oh my gosh, you think I'm the mother. Gabriel Union is just super awesome. It's hard for you to be black and confident enough to share your infertility journey. Like with everything she has been through, she definitely deserved this bundle of joy and so much more. Gosh, I wish I could, I wish I could, I don't even know what I wish I could do for her, but I'm so happy for her. Sound City. Today being Friday, I shared some hacks on how to save money as a car owner. Nina is here with you on a Friday morning. What's up, Enugu? So, we know owning a car is a really cool thing. But have you thought about it? It may be digging a hole in your pocket and you may or may not have realized it. So, here are some saving hacks for car owners. Heard about working for your cash? How about letting your cash work for you? Find out how right here. We'll let you know how big little cash can be for you. Balling on a budget. Wash your car by yourself. Yes, the car wash makes life easy, but it's not making it easy for your account balance. Invest in car maintenance. That way your car is stronger, lifespan is steady, and you don't get to blow so much cash when you could have just resolved it with a simple maintenance. On days when the weather isn't too unbearable, I know you hate me for this, but roll down your windows and enjoy the fresh air so you can save your fuel. Also, taking a cab sometimes isn't such a bad idea. You get to save your fuel and also save your car the stress. That's a smart way to save and go balling on a budget. And we also took a quick look at what's been going on around the world this week in 45 seconds. What's up, Enugu? Let's check out the biggest stories around the world for this week in 45 seconds. A 28-year-old ex-Marine killed 12 people and injured at least a dozen in a California bar shooting. Well, the shooter was among those killed, making them 13. Missy Elliott has become the first female rapper to be nominated for the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Big congratulations to her. People's Magazine unveiled Idris Elba as the second sexiest man alive and we couldn't agree more mr easy's lagos to london mixtape drops today and finally it's raining babies nato c welcomed a baby earlier this week rick cross welcomed a baby boy and guess what his name is billion yes that's his name and Gabriel union also just had a baby girl but a surrogate mother oh my gosh my ovaries are acting up but it's not time yet it's not time this is sound city radio that at one point one let me know what the biggest stories for this week were for you at sound city enugu this is i doubt any baby name would actually shock me because i think i've heard it all rick cross actually named his baby boy billion what happened to trillion or gazillion maybe you should name it nigerian national budget so that will understand that your child is going to be rich i rich people problems i'm broke though so what do i know what's up enugu with nina Oh yes, I think this is the last one we're going to be taking a look at today from this week. Take a minute to tour a city. I love to travel so much. So on Fridays, I also love to give some fun facts about certain cities. So you can have fun whenever you find yourself there. If you feel adventurous, you can just have the best time of your life. Show them camp with that palm wine music. Up to you featuring Fumbi. Let's take a minute to tour the city of Abakaliki. Yes. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, it's boring, it's dry, it's for farmers, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you happen to step into Abakaliki, there are still some fun things that you can do, okay? Visit Abakaliki Green Lake. The tiny problem is, it's located right inside the state government's house, okay? Abakaliki Great Rice Hawks is another place that you can visit. It's so cool that during rice production, the rice husks are piled into heaps, which makes them look like sand dunes in the desert. I might be reaching, but it actually looks like that. You can also visit Oposi salt lake there's always an enormous deficit of salt there which is why ebony is known as the salt of the nation umumaya kwako rocks is another attraction the rocks are naturally shaped like eggs also forget the myth okay get a taste of abakaliki rice it's really nice did i miss anything out just hit me up at sound city and go on social media and let me know since we're being honest with each other abakaliki is not a place i would volunteer to go to which is why i said if you find yourself there 
you can go to those places to have fun. But if you don't find yourself there, I don't know if there's really any need for you to want to go there. Huh? <laughs> Okay, so this is where I'd have to wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for taking out some time to listen to this and listen to me rant and listen to me ramble. Let's do this again some other time, okay? My name is Nina and you can catch me on Sound City Enugu 91.1, 6 to 10 a.m., Mondays to Saturdays, yes. Have an awesome day. Hey, yo, block it down. Sound City 91.1, Enugu. Powered by music.